Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're watching this. Um, today I have a new cat. She's been groomed before. Her name's Indy, or his name is Indy. Uh, and we're going to be doing a line cut. Hi, baby. It looks like a Siamese. It's in the computer as an exotic cat, but I think it's a Siamese. It looks like a long hair Siamese. Do a section eight, you get it like this, put it around the neck, and you get this part. And then once you get this part, you're gonna get this part go underneath the cat. It's almost like a harness, hence the section eight harness. And then you put it through the little loop, and voila. I do like that because I really don't want that much pressure on the uh, throat. Shop, but I couldn't get it to work on my camera. Um, so I ordered another one off of Amazon. Hopefully that one works a lot better. I'm just going to put you guys up a little higher and point you down. So bear with me for a moment. So you can see everything that I'm doing. And I love using these little baby clippers on cats. So much easier. We are going to do a full tail, so we're not going to touch the tail. Mama says that uh, Andy does not like the tail to mess with, so we are going to do that last. Um, she does not want this cat sedated, and I stress to her that I I don't like sedating animals. If they don't need it, I don't want to do it, and I only do it mainly because protection for themselves, um, not mainly you know me. Though sometimes it's very seldom that I'll do it for, for protection for myself. It's mainly for them because I don't want to end up hurting them. Uh, and overall, it's really not good to have your cat or your dog sedated every single time for uh, to be groomed. And one, it doesn't teach them anything, even though cats, yes, we know cats uh, are their own boss, and you generally can't train them unless you have that uh, cat instructor um, that's been on TLC. I can't think of his name right now, but he's amazing. But I don't think he does, I don't think he trains it for <laughs> getting them used to something like this. Now we are going to do a mane, so what I do is I find the bones, uh, the back bones of top of their shoulders, and I go right below that, and then I use that as my line to go over their shoulder blades. So you find that and you just go over it and that's how I get that, that mean. So we're going to go just below it. Now when you do have this, it does get kind of in the way, but I mean, if you don't want to use one harness or anything, that's your call. I do because sometimes the cats might try to bolt away 
and this way I don't have to worry about the one jumping off hurting themselves, um, or especially when they jump and get down, I'm afraid that they might get um, stuck underneath something because they're freaked out and then I can't get them out and then the only way I can get them out is by getting um, a vet tech to come back with a rabies pull. And that's just going to stress the cat out even more. So instead of doing all the extra steps and making it worse for the cat, I'd rather just do the Section 8 harness. Uh, it's just a lot easier. It's more logical to me. Uh, there are some people that don't do um, harnesses or anything around around them at all and just kind of let them just free roam. I'm not that burner. Um, I need to make sure your animal stays where I need them to stay uh, and be safe about it because I'm also not the only one working in my workspace. I have two other groomers that work here with me. And, and I don't need them, uh, you know, jumping off the table and then Philo sees, oh, there's breakfast, there's a little snack. And then he tries to hop off the table and then that's just a big old fight. So we don't need all that extra stuff. So, yeah. But see, I like this because it makes the lines come up so smooth. Now, you sometimes you will get a cat to where you're doing a cat, it's gonna come out with a whole bunch of lines and it's going to come out real chunky and funky. Uh, some cats, you just can't get even lines. So don't sweat it. I mean, because technically cats are not meant to be shaved down anyway. Um, <clears throat> so we get a lot of animals uh, that come in that, that want to be shaved. Uh, or well, requested to be shaved. They don't ask to be shaved. They get requested to be shaved. Which I don't mind doing it. Um, even though I know there are other groomers who are just like, no, I will not do it. I will not do it. They're house, they're house animals. Like, they're not show animals, so, you know. Now, when it starts to become a skin issue, um, that's one of the main reasons some people do it. A lot of people do it for, for shedding. Some people do it because, they, you know, they can't clean that up. So, I mean, there are a lot of reasons why people get it done to their animals. And that's their, that's their right. I mean, as long as they're taking their animal in, uh, to the groomer to get it taken care of. Why does it matter? It's, it's not your area to, you know, say whether they should or not. You're not the one at home taking care of them. Can I get an amen? Amen! I'm sure someone watching that saying, yeah, tell <laughs> I mean, there are some animals that come in. I mean, you just... She's got a few knots here, but it's not like dramatically bad. And I think the mats that are up here, like this is like one mat right here. It's mainly undercoat. It's stuck undercoat. And I think it's because either Indy is just not um, grooming as often. And that's just a whole bunch of stuck on oil. Because that's what it feels like to me. Because generally when it's on the back, um, either one they can't reach because they're too chunky. I have a fat cat. She's a lot bigger than this cat. Like, a lot bigger than this cat. And I don't understand how she is the size that she is. She got fixed, and then she kind of blew up. So, I mean, I kind of understand that. I had that same thing happen to me. So, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, it is what it is. But the matting on this cat is not is not bad at all. There are some animals that come in and get them shaved, and it's usually like a once a year or every two years, or or sometimes even worse. Um, now those ones, there are some cases where I I'm saying not to judge, but I will judge because when it gets to a certain point of matting, there really is no like if you have the opportunity to get your animal groomed. I don't care if you don't have the money. If you don't have the money, go seek somebody out. Post online. See if somebody will be willing to groom your pet for free. Um, if I know that you're having money issues, like legitimate money issues, and you're not trying to scam somebody and get it for free, I have no problem doing that. Um, you just gotta reach out to me. I've done it before in the past. I know life happens, trust me. I got five kids and a husband. 
life happens quite a bit to us. But you know, you just gotta keep chucking, chucking along, and you're never gonna know if you can get help if you don't reach your hand out. Though sometimes I've had to reach my hand out multiple times. Um, but I don't always get help, so. And I hate putting my hand out for help. I really, really do. I, I, it's, it's, it's very embarrassing, to be quite honest. Um, because then it makes me feel like I'm not doing enough as a mom and a wife. And it does get very stressful. But I mean, it is what it is. I can only do so much. I'm only one person. And that's the sad reality. I am only one person. I can only do so much. I can only be at so many places. I can only do so many things, you know? I'm human. But, I mean, like, if you have an animal that is severely mad at and you're not getting it groomed because of price-wise, then reach out to either a shelter or, you know, Facebook pages. Post something on there. I mean, at most places... If your pet has not been seen in a while, it will probably be up in your shop records. Whether it's an inside or outside dog or cat, it's going to need shots. And that's just for the safety of who's ever grooming that animal. The other thing I really like about these, they don't really run hot. Look at how smooth that is. Fine and smooth. Oh, you're doing so great. Just trying to get as much as I can on the top before I have to get to the bottom part. Because most cats, if not all cats, do not like when you get to their back end um, or their private area. They kind of um, go a little cray cray. Because they're just like, no, that's my no-no square. Don't touch me there. Um, and I get that. You got some random stranger you don't know all up in your private areas. You and stuff. I get that. That plus your, you know, you got sharp object. You and stuff. So I get that. Now, the first thing you should do, and I did not do this, and I do this all the time, is cut the toenails. Cut the toenails, because if the cat grabs you, it sinks its nails into you, you're done, bruh. You're toast. Because once these talons get in, I mean, there's a reason why you have pets. Cat scratch fever. This is a very well-behaved cat. Uh, Mom said that cats have been done many times before. Okay. Without sedation. Um, I don't know. I'm going to get the nail about hitting a, a little whiff or... It's not bad, right? But yeah, cat nails can do some, some pretty gnarly damage, man. Uh, it can turn into a really bad infection. And then you have to get a tetanus shot. You know, if you're doing cats, make sure your tetanus shot is up to date. Like, I can, I cannot stress that enough. Make sure it is up to date. My cat bit me yesterday right here. She's, she's my fat one. When I sit there and I do this to her bed, she goes, and then she tries, and then she bites. I think she just does it because she can't reach her back end, so she gets mad. So she'll try to bite us. It's just something she does. It's funny. You're doing really, really good, Andy. Now this is that part where I'm getting from here, and I'm going down. Pull the skin up, and it'll make sure you don't get any uh, skin stuck in the teeth. Stretching is very key for cats, especially for older, senior cats. 
that have a lot of extra hair, uh, not extra hair, extra skin, because the skin will get flabby. Uh, and then once it gets flabby, it's a lot easier for you to end up injuring the animal. Okay, so the line comes here, so we're gonna bring this line down to right here where the point of the chest is. Okay? And lay it down. Right down to the point of the chest. Now if you follow this line all the way down, you're pretty much just going Wee! It's almost like a, like a, think of it as a heart, but you're not going in the middle, you're just going, you're just doing that round part of the heart. And right here where the chest bone is, that's where you're going to want to have it meet up. Now it's up to you if you want to, if you have, if you bring all this hair up and you shave around, you can lay this flat down and it will look natural. You do not have to clip or scissor it at all. Unless your client requests that they want a shorter mane, then you can do like a guard comb on it. Um, but if you're doing a guard comb, be extremely careful because the teeth in a guard comb are wide, so it's easy for um, cat hair and cat skin to kind of mix together and just get get cut. And we don't want that, so. You gotta be extra cautious when you're grooming a cat. They're not like the dogs, they move fast and they're also on a timer. Um, cats will let you know when they're, when they're done. Um, they have a limited amount of time. And when they're done, they are done. Don't keep pushing them. Because, one, they're either going to pee on themselves, they're going to poop on the table, they're going to get really stressed out, they're going to start panting. Um, it's not good for them. That, or they will just turn into aggressive mode and start attacking. And they're not doing it out of, um, you know, nastiness. I mean, well, some do do it out of nastiness. But most of the time, it's because they're stressed. Now be very cautious when you're doing this underarm area, especially when you get down to there. Um, it kind of flabs in a little, little rolls. Um, and it's easy for that skin there to kind of just get nicked. Now some cats do not like having this done. So I'm trying to do the, all this part first before I have to get to the butt area. It's okay, baby. You're doing good, Indy. Indy, it's okay, baby. Yeah, this part right here, I absolutely hate doing it. Okay. That spider is really big. It is. Yeah. It's got a big booty. I'm hoping it's not a female and it's not holding the sack in there. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up one day. All these little, 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 little spideys, little spideys. She's losing crickets in the house, so she's probably eating good. That's probably why it's she's got a big probably butt. Probably why it's the big butt. It's probably because she's eating it. Because I found her when my mom keeps seeing my loose crickets. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's like, probably why she stayed in your house. She was right outside the craft room, which is where I keep the things. So. Eating all my loose, my loose crickets that keep dropping. She's like, I don't know where these are coming from, but it's delicious over here. Thanks. Thanks for the free food, Taylor. So basically, I just get it right where the. There's a little knob right here, the little back paw. That's where I kind of do my paws. I do it up to here. So I had to order another one of those mics. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah, I had my sister's iPhone and I took it out and the bottom receiver part immediately worked. But I couldn't get it to work on just the camera. Um, it only works on apps. That's weird. So I just went on um, Amazon and I'm like, let me just order one that will work on a camera. Because I one, I don't have enough viewers on TikTok anyway um, to do lives. Because you need a thousand people on TikTok. Yeah. It's stupid. Who knows? Maybe maybe you know, I'll do live when my curvy stuff comes in. <laughs> I ordered a little curvy faceplate. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. I've already made like I found um, some old upholstery from, so I've already made like the little body shell. And you got I'm, a fling. Like, Cutting out the right there. patterns and stuff. Oh, I'm ready to go as soon as the faceplate gets here. I'm ready to go. You are just amazing. You are so not happy about this room though. said Albert's not very happy today. Who's not? My husband. Uh, See how that flabs over? I really like that I can get in there really easy and cut the skin. I hate this area right here. Oh, it's butt clenching. Butt clenching. But clinching. Over this pond down a little bit more. I'm sorry, baby. I need to get the finishing off. Okay. Yeah. get those all the time and they're always clogged because of all the oils that they have. So, I always have to express them. Now, when you're doing the leg, you want to do it in a natural position. They're probably going to keep kicking. Sometimes they will mellow out. In this case, Andy's like, no. Oh, good job. 
Sometimes you don't know about most of that pain. And sometimes that makes But you always want to put it in a natural position. And then be careful when you go down with this curve here. Because it's like the same thing with the underarm right here. Is that area where you can kind of get in there and do some damage. And you don't want to do damage there because... It's okay, baby. You, you just don't want to do damage there. Now, cat hair is going to clog up your blade multiple times. There will be multiple times as you see me do it. Blow in between, or you'll have to get a brush and brush out. They do have cat blades that you can use that are specifically for cats. Uh, I don't know what the difference is, to be quite honest, so I could not tell you. Um... I just always use my Vergara's. I used to use just a regular 10, um, but I feel like a regular 10 just kind of, I don't know, I just feel like it cuts it a lot shorter. And I just don't like the look. Right, now we're just going to try and see if we can get a it's a zero, not an O. I hate when people say that. Like they do their, they do the numbers, and they're like, "Oh, we're going to throw a letter in there." I mean, I know I sometimes do, but for the most part, I say zero. Tacos. I like those. They're my favorite. Because, you know, the Mexican kind, they can be a little too spicy, and then they give me the squirts, and then I got the stomach pains, and I don't like that stuff. But you, I like. I like you. You're really sweet, and you're beautiful, too. My people tacos. My people tacos. I think that's what I'm going to have tonight for dinner. I'm just go get some sour cream. It's okay. Careful to not cut any nipples now. Some of the nipples are really, really small. Why do See, that's what I'm talking about right there. That right there, that is the cat timer. When they start to do that, that means that their timer is either up or it's about to be up. You need to finish what you need to do ASAP because you're not going to be able to get much done soon after that. Now, sometimes you can let them just chill for a minute and they'll be fine. And other times you're just like, look. I let you do all this. Now you need to just leave me be. 
Um, so since he's already getting stressed out, I'm going to try and finish what I do, and then I'm going to give him a waterless bath, which is this. This stuff is really good stuff. Um, we get the ship to the uh, clinic. It's by Zotus. It's by Zotus. Uh, I'm sure you can probably go to their website. They sell all different kinds of medical stuff for vets. But this stuff, I'm telling you, it gets them so clean. Sometimes we'll be washing a dog that has oils. And we'll do it like two or three times in dawn. And then we'll spray this over it afterwards. And it's like it's gone. I don't know what happens. So it's great stuff. It's great stuff. I know. It's okay. You're doing great. We're almost at the finish line. Privets. I think that's a little Peter. Those are his little, his little man purse bits. <clears throat> You're being such a good boy, but I gotta get your other side, okay? I know, I gotta get in here. We're um, tilted somehow, I don't know what happened. Doing great, Amy. 
You do it wonderful. You know, my words are like, you don't care. I get that. Alright. Move your tail. Move your tail. side and then we'll give you a little brush and gap, okay? Good. You're doing great. You've been absolutely phenomenal. Like, look, ladies. 
so much to me. I do not like it. There's 50 in this. These are actually really clean. One's for the eyeballs. Same thing. some of this on him. Brush and comb out his mane really quick and then we're just going to put him away in his tank. And then I'm going to wash off my table. That's all she wrote. See you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye, toodles.